and welcome again to another edition of the game backup and replication version 12 tips and tricks in this episode i wanted to talk about the new google backups so i will show you my setup so you can easily check how easy it is to actually do those immutable backups so as you can see i have a dedicated server with uh, XFS file mm, that was actually created with uh, XFS and this uh, server is running on Hyper-V and it's called Vim Data and the default user for authentication for this server is called Vim so in my home Vim, I have created a folder named data store and the data store folder has privi privileges set on the Vim account, so on the Vim user. Of course, this server is added to my Vim backup. So if we go to backup infrastructure, you can see that here is my server that was added and if we go to backup repositories here is my hardened repository that resides on this server that has been added and of course like I said before everything has been partitioned with XFS file system okay so if we want to actually do a backup we can do it through virtual machine and we're gonna um, just call it let's call it EMM now we're gonna choose uh, which uh, virtual machine we want to actually backup here so I'm just gonna pick this one because this is my data store and here <coughs> retention policy set to seven days of course and here you need to choose your as secure repository I'm gonna leave it on all host After creating the backup job, we can start it. As you can see, it's now processing the virtual machine. Of course, everything depends on the speed. Basically, this is a lab environment and test environment. That's why the speed is quite low. You can see that it's already started backing up everything. Okay, so it's almost done. Oh, we got success on the backup. So now we can actually check and here is our EMM backup so if we go here here we have our VPK VBN and if we actually try to VP 
in C. <coughs> we cannot remove it. An operation is not permitted from here. So this is basically how you can do this specific kind of backup if you have everything uh, prepared as I uh, showed in my on my server. We can also go to security and compliance. And if we go to the product configuration, let's uh, look for credentials. Configuration should be enabled. Use OK. Traffic, transport mode, also we have here object lock in the governance mode does not provide true immutability, okay. What we also should have immutable or offline media should be in use so actually this is passed as well because if you configured everything correctly immutable backups are enabled and if you go to security compliance analyzer it should be on passed okay so if you like the content of course like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one